YouTube, I'm back with some more videos today and this I'm going to start a playlist and I'm going to call it the ongoing PC build. Um, and why am I calling that? Because at the moment I've been studying to get some IT qualifications so I haven't had as much time to do my YouTube and do loads of reviews like I normally like to do on tablets and speakers so I've mainly been buying computer hardware um, to help me out with that. Also I needed a little, this um, is the computer here, I needed a little computer just for studying on, um, doing my general general bits and bobs on. Um, you might have seen earlier in the year I did like I uh, bought a John's Bow media case where so I took the motherboard and all the parts out and put it in this case which I'll show you in a minute which is a CIT barricade. Um, I know you can only really see the side of it now um, and it doesn't look like the case um, because I've modded it a bit and we're going to call this the beta and the reason we're going to call it the beta or the prototype is because I completely messed up the spray painting. I rushed it. Why did I rush it? Because I wanted to use my computer. When I wasn't making the PC, I was watching movies and chilling and uploading YouTube videos. So I can completely rush the painting. So I'm going to get another case because it's only £18. Um, I'm going to do quite a few modifications to it, which I'll show you in a minute. But we will call this a review on the case because um, any system builders out there that want to see around the case, um, what you can do with it and what you can put in there, this, this will really help you out as well because it's a very good case for £18. Very happy, few little drawbacks and it is quite small but very happy with the case. So um, yeah, component wise, you know, I've just said it's got my little AM1 processor build in there and I will be doing a few bits and bobs before the end of year and extra parts but mainly um, I'm going to start putting a higher rated system in it next year. So I'm going to start with something around the sort of AMD um, FM2 line, maybe looking at an 86K because I've got a graphics car coming next week um, and then build it up through the year. Um, custom made water cooling is going to be there as well. Um, and then probably by the end of next year that's when I'm going to get up some really serious put some i7 hardware in there. I just want to build loads of quality parts in it get quality hard drives, quality power supplies, all that stuff so when I do go out and um, you know drop a load of money on an i7 and a big old GTX graphics card I've got the most amount of my budget that I've got for it I haven't got to buy power supplies, I haven't got to buy SSDs, I haven't got to buy a case so yeah up until Christmas, loads of case mods. Um, I'm going to take my time with it as well now because I've got one sat here. So the one, the new one that I have, I know exactly how I want to do it. Um, and I'm going to show you in the videos as well how you can do some really simple case mods and just make something that unique and for yourself. That's why I didn't want to use a big branded case like a Corsair or something like that that I sort of like the look of. I wanted it to really be my own sort of case where someone looks at it and goes, I don't know what it is, but right now you can't really see the case because it's here. So um, I'm going to take you in for a closer look and show you around the case and what I've got planned for it. Now I did want to do this bit of the video where I showed you the case downstairs but my housemate's eating their dinner so I'm just going to leave her to it. So first I'm going to start off with showing you some general dimensions um, of the case. So height wise it is 36, 36.5 centimetres. Width it's... Um, 160, that's not including these little indents out, um, but just so you know for sort of uh, PSU height for cooler, which we'll go into in a minute when we get in the case. And then the depth of it is about 32 centimetres, so it's quite small, you're not going to be able to fit the biggest graphics card in here. Now, like I said, I, will, I think I showed a photo earlier at the beginning, actually I will show a photo earlier at the beginning because I'm shooting this bit afterwards. Um, this was all black. So what I want is this sort of black and white, it goes on my desk, and from here it looks alright, it looks quite good, it sits well on the desk with the videos. Up close, this paint is terrible, as I said. So, what I want to do is, well, what I've already done anyway, which I'll be doing with the new one, is to remove this front panel and paint it white. These are some black strips again, so I'm going to paint them white, um, which we have two USB 2.0s here, and they come with these really nice rubber little grips to put in, which is covered in dust, because I spray painted this in my room as well, it took like three hours to clean. There's a couple that you can pull out here, that for your audio. Um, then there's a USB 3 and then there's a power switch here and a reset switch and a blue LED light. So and also this black here, which you might be able to see, it's a bit more glossy and shiny. Now when I get the new case for the non-beta version, the proper sprayed slow version, um, you'll see that this is quite a dull black. So I'm going to paint that in satin black, remove all this and do it white and then paint the side panels. Now with the side panels what I'm going to use is um, a Plasti Dip because um, because I'm not very good at spray painting and not very patient if I screw it up I can um, peel it off because that is going to take me ages to sand off. It's really going to take my time to sand off. Um, so let's go into the front panel a little bit more. Now this is one, obviously I'm talking about modding the case at the moment but this is one that you will, I will recommend that you do if you buy this case. Like you, you should do this 100% you should do this and the reason is I'll remove this front panel. If you can see here, there's the dust filter, and then you've just got them, these little metal tabs that pull off. Now I took this off about maybe five or six times. One of the tabs has already broken, 
Now, if you've got cats, dogs, anything like that, you're going to collect a lot of dust into your PC because there's two 120 mil fans here. What I recommend you can get off eBay, they're about two pound. Is dust covers you can screw over. You get ten, I think, for two pound fifty on eBay. Put a couple of those on there and remove this filter. Just get rid of it because it's going to be in your way. Um, you might slightly see the cables through the holes, but you're going to have to be stood right next to it. So that I definitely recommend with this case. That is something I could definitely think you should do. And because there's 220 mil fans there, that's where I plan to put my water cooling. Okay, let me put that back on. Sorry, this is quite a long video because I'm talking about all the mods. And the only way you're going to see all these mods when the new case comes is to subscribe to my channel and watch it. So here's the other white side. So, you see it's real patchy, it's just a bit rough. Honestly, it looks fine on my desk. Everyone says it looks wicked, but I just really want to do it pro, real pro. I'll take you over to the side as well. This one is vented. The reason there's tape here, see these lines? I'm going to cut a window into it. That is a whole new other ball game. I've already bought some grinder discs for it. I've seen people using a jigsaw, but I'm just going to just go for a grind out. And then I'm going to put some tinted perspex in there. Do not buy translucent perspex because it won't let the light through. You want tinted or smoked per perspex. Now around the back here, um, we can see right at the bottom here we've got a power supply slot. There's four PCIs um, slots. Two I've already took out because my graphics card was supposed to be a Saturday and I was really eagerly awaiting it and it didn't come. Um, then you've got all the IO shield, um, which is just um, the AM1 motherboard. So go look at that video. I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of that one. And then a rear 80mm fan as an exhaust. Now... That's not too good for me. I wasn't too happy with that. So one of the first videos I'm going to do is I'm going to put. I took this grill off my John's bow case. I'm going to um, cut a hole. Got a hole cutter coming. I'm going to fix that onto the top and spray that white and have another 120 millimeter extraction fan. So there we go. That's what the outside of the case is going to look like. Let's take a look inside then. Okay. So here we are for a closer look inside the case. Now. This would be very good for anyone that's looking to buy the case and not mod it. They're finally getting to see inside the case. So first you have this really nice sort of pull-out lever where you can hold two hard drives. Well, I have a 120 gigabyte SSD, that's my system drive. Um, and then I've just got a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I pulled out a broken laptop, which I'm going to store my games on. Um, but I'm going to upgrade that to probably a 7200 RPM uh, Western Digital Black, maybe a 1 or 2 terabyte. Now the issue with this a little bit, as you're putting in bigger coolers and stuff, with 3.5 inch drives, I recommend 2.5 inch. There is holes for 3.5 inch on here to screw them on. That is going to get in the way of a cooler if you're not using a low profile and it is very close. I think that would probably, yeah, that would hit your power supply down there as well. So um, that is going to be some difficult with 3.5 inch drives. So I recommend 2.5 inch drives in this case. Um, where is my tape measure? Got it. So, should we do the depth for the CPU cooler? It's going to be roughly about 140, it's quite a small cooler. Um, this is why I'm going for water cooling. Get around. I'm going to put a water cooling system in there where the two 2.5 inch drives are. I'm then also going to have put in a modular power supply. Because as you can see, there is cables everywhere. There is slight cable management at the back. We'll go into that in a minute. And I recommend, even though there is a dust filter on the bottom for a power supply, to flip it round because that 80 millimeter um, is going to hold you back with a higher performance system in there um, with moving air out of the system. I, since I did that yesterday, and it has cooled it a couple of degrees. Um, up at the top here, we have the um, Asus motherboard. Now. The width of this Asus board is mini ITX width. It's only got two um, uh, two RAM slots. Now, when you go up to micro ATX boards that can take four RAM slots, you're going to lose all these cable management holes. It will go over it. So I recommend if you want a high performance motherboard that's um, you know got a lot more things ready for gaming and, and stuff like that, to actually probably get a mini ITX board because you can't get micro ATX high performance boards that only have two RAM slots. As soon as they start adding all the fun stuff, it goes up to four slots, you lose all this cable management area. Also, regarding cable management, if you are gonna keep this hard drive area, you can almost run the SATA cables in between the two fans so they're not in the way every time. Um, graphics card support. So, with two 120 millimeter fans in, what sort of graphics card length are we looking at? I'll roughly work that out. 
you're looking at about um, 270 280 millimeter for your top um, graphics card so that is everything inside um, I'm gonna be adding some new parts anyway the next week got the um, GTX 950 graphics card come in and I'm also gonna order 16 gigabyte of RAM at the end of the week as well because I really want to play some games next week so last but least I will just take you around the back oh there goes the thumb screw who loses thumb screws all the time? Come on, system builders. Who loses thumb screws? So we've got the back panel, which I'm going to spray in white. Again, I'm going to do another one of these in the Plasti Dip uh, white paint because I've messed this up. And here you can see there is sort of some areas where you can put cables. There's a grill here. I recommend maybe getting a modular power supply with thinner cables, but still you can get your ATX power, your CPU power, um, and then also I've got my PCI pulling near it in here a bit and then just a few of my other all my header cables for power and there's a nice sort of a nice size cutout as well for putting in um, your CPU cooler which will make life a bit easier so there you go there's just a good look around the CIT barricade I'm um, sorry it wasn't the original all black version and it took a lot of time while I talk about the modding and stuff but um, if this is something you want to see and you want to see it develop and um, actually see me take some real time on it just please subscribe to the channel 